that's what the Holy Ghost is to you. You carry him and he insulates you. Am I making sense? Now, not only that, you know the one I like so much was when he was parting the Red Sea. The Bible says a wind came. And I don't know whether you use the east wind or a wind. It started blowing across the river. Now, you have to go and find it in the Psalms because the Psalms now say the water congealed. Anybody who knows anything about English knows that the word congealed means it turned into ice. So the left side of the river was frozen. The right side was frozen, yet they walked on dry ground. <laughs> their shoes didn't get stuck in the mud the wind froze and dried they were looking at a marvel I don't know if you get the point I'm making they were walking on dry ground you know if you ever watch um, Prince of Egypt by this, uh, they will show you a whale coming close to the glass and turning back because it just goes to show you they understood that something had congealed. So they could actually see the dolphins and all the animals and all the fishes. Now when you do that, your mind boggles about how great your God is. Yet a few months later, they had forgotten all that. So miracles don't bring you anywhere closer to God. Are you here? I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Amen? Stay with me now. I know I have crazy notes. Sometimes I'm even confused. Praise the Lord. But I'm going somewhere with all this. This is where I'm going. Because I'm running out of time. I only have about 13 minutes to go. Now, for the sake of explanation, I'm going to do something. Come, sir. Please come, chief. To all intents and purposes, this is the Holy Ghost. He's tall and handsome. You come on the pulpit. He's God. I need Jesus. Demola, bring your chair. Come and become Jesus. You know, you're, you're dressed like Jesus. Uh, stand in front of the pulpit. Be like God now. Put your hand like this. Huh? Pastor Isaac, no, I won't use you. Let me use uh, our protocol officer. Uh, our protocol officer that we see today and we see like is that the Holy Ghost. We see him today. We don't see him, see him today. We don't see him today. Sometimes I wonder who protocols when he's not around. For all the intents and purposes, this is the confused Christian. Or the confused unbeliever. It fits the, the setting. Have we? Now anywhere he goes, you follow him. Am I making sense? The Bible says nobody can come to God except the Holy Ghost who draws him. So he's an unbeliever. He's looking for God. Who's beside him? But he doesn't know God. I've done this before. You will see why in a minute. Am I making sense? So he can't come to God without the Holy Ghost. Am I making sense? But his life can be very confused. But who's standing beside him? No man, the Bible says no man can come to God except the Holy Ghost draws him. Do you know that? Do you think it was a lie? Some of you say, I gave my life to Christ. What have you said? I've closed. Me, Oshimo. Father, I want to give my life to Christ. So you say, hey, you today, not today. Come back next week. Oh, you say. People think this, I gave my life to Christ. You know, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. The Holy Ghost brought you. <laughs> You, 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 you brag. I gave my life. You gave your life. Which life? No, 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 no. Somebody brought you. Are you here? Finally, the Holy Ghost takes him to.